Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a new Cutie Pie board, and uh, this is a pretty cool chip because this isn't an ABR, and it's not a SAMD, and it's not an RP2040. It's an 8051. Yeah, they're still making those. This is a CH552P, and if you look on my computer, uh, there is an Arduino core written by Deixing for it. And um, I have here one doing a little NeoPixel demo. Um, it totally works. There's like an, you know, four analog inputs, digital IO, SPI, I squared C. The only thing is it's not a C++ compiler. It's a C compiler. And so like you can't use our libraries and demo code with it. But there is some example code for just like, you know, bit banging uh, NeoPixels, for example, as you see here, um, reading the analog input, doing some GPIO. And it does have a native USB interface that you can use with HID or CDC, which is kind of cool because like, you know, it's an 8051. It's like a famous for being like 25 cents or something, a very yeah. inexpensive chip. Um, so it's not going to like run CircuitPython and it kind of barely runs Arduino code. Um, but it's pretty cool, an 8051 QDPI. So I thought, you know, maybe for the hackers, it'll be a good one. Want to experiment with an 8051. All right, Lady Ada, what's this? These are flying toasters, but these are flying toasters generated by a sock. Um, I'm holding this like kind of non solder style, just kind of press fitting it. Uh, but this is what we call a DVI sock. It's based off of um, a design by the Raspberry Pi Foundation for uh, Pico boards, and it fits um, on the bottom like this. Like normally you would solder it in place. And uh, it kind of extends out and gives you a DVI output that you can then use to um, display up to, well, with our code, uh, 640 by 480 um, full color, which is 320 by 240 pixel doubled, but uh, still pretty nice, great for little uh, retro projects. And of course you get a full frame buffer. Um, and then, you know, it's just bit banging over PIO, the uh, three lanes of data plus clock. You get some resistors in line and then, you know, your DVI connector. You could use an HDMI, HDMI monitor, some capacitors, and then pinouts for the hot plug detect, CEC, util, and uh, five volt ground. So um, this should make it really easy if you want to like really quickly uh, get a DVI or uh, HDMI compatible project going on your Pico or Pico W uh, without having to have a full DVI Pico Bell. So coming soon. That's top secret. Yeah, that's secret stuff, not quite ready for the shop. Coming soon. Yeah. People like the 8051 stones.